Okay, Roberto Baggio review. Let me tell you, I've never been more confused about a player after reviewing them in my life. He definitely feels like one of the most broken cards Konami have ever released. He kind of reminds me of when those booster Messi's came out, the 2015, 20, 22 World Cup and the 2009 Champions League final ones. Like, he's the fastest player on the ball I've ever used, but there's times where, because of that speed, I feel like I can't do what I want to do on the pitch with him. I mentioned it in my previous upload, the first impressions. Uh, I mentioned it jokingly that he's too fast. I feel like I can't dribble with him, but so I needed to go back and do another review. But uh, after doing this play, I played about three, four hours of uh, games, and I think I'm right. Like I think his dribbling is he's too fast on the ball that I can't. I have to learn a whole new uh, way of dribbling with him. At first, I thought it was just me playing bad, because um, last night I was on the end of streaming for nine hours. So when I first got him, I put it down to uh, put it down to that. I'm, I'm tired, but um, after playing today, you know, because I, I was playing with you know Messi, Saviola, uh, Romario, they, and I was dribbling fine with them. It was just Baggio. I couldn't get the timing right. So like every time, uh, I was sprint dribbling with R two. I'm pretty good at. Uh, knowing what percent to hold R2 to dribble but with Baggio I was struggling I felt like it, if I held it 30-40% he was still going like near near 100% like 80% and he would knock the ball far ahead of him so my timing was wrong and then I also tried to do the drag back dribbling with him the uh, in, from my first upload where you hold the left analog stick uh, only like 20-40% to do the, the close control and he wasn't responding to it. He, I could do it like if I was standing stationary um, and there was no pressure around me, but I couldn't incorporate it into my, you know, live dribbling. And I think it was due to the pace because I actually got to the point where I retrained them and only gave them like three or four points into lower body strength and dexterity. And then what do you know, once I got into the game, uh, I could actually do the drag back dribbling again. So I think he is... I'm just confused. I don't know. He's just the strangest player. Like like I, I said earlier, he can do things that I haven't seen any other players do, or at least the vibe since those booster messies came out. Like that one there. The last touch with kind of uh, to be kind of arrow. You can see how loose the ball goes. But that's bad. Like that's bad dribbling. It's just that because he's so high rated, the kind of arrow doesn't uh, stick a foot in to tackle the ball. Someone asked me, is he a game changer? And I said no, and then someone else in my chat said, no one's going to be a game changer for you at this point, considering my team. And I agreed, like, sometimes people ask me, like, oh, who are you going to spin for next? And I really said, no, no, I don't really have many intentions of spinning for anyone. Like, uh, even Rumi, like, Rumi will be one of the best strikers in the game, but he's not going to be too much different compared to the ones I have. But the reason I spun for Baggio is because uh, one, he's a dribbler, like he's my type of player. And then two, I got him in Pez 16 and he was my favorite, one of my favorite players in Pez 16. So I kind of wanted to use him because I kind of have a bit of a nostalgia for him in that regard. And I remember thinking the other day, I feel like he's going to be so good at dribbling that you won't have to engage with the uh, new systems, that dribbling systems that have been added since uh, Pez 16. And I genuinely think that's the case. Like, I feel like if you're someone who uses the analog sprint well, but more importantly, if you use drag back dribbling, that he's not going to be more effective than uh, a Messi or a Neymar. But if you're someone who doesn't, um, who doesn't know how to kind of use this complex dribbling, uh, the complex dribbling mechanics, his normal left stick will be really good because he he is definitely the fastest uh, dribbler. Someone on the first impressions video asked, uh, how is he in comparison to Neymar? And I said, and I said that on Twitter too, he's he's faster than Neymar, but none of his stats say that he should be faster. Uh, dribbling, the dribbling stat is how fast you are running with the ball. So if you have 90 speed and let's say 99 dribbling, you will run basically at 90 speed. Whereas if you have... 90 speed and 40 dribbling it'll like do a multiplication and then you'll be running at like say 60 speed but that goal you're just seeing there 
that's a good example of how fast he is and I think it's the ball control slash the really high dribbling. He's really good at that first burst around the defender and I feel like he has like, he doesn't have fighting spirit but he feels like he has insane uh, some weird insane fighting spirit so it's just something, you know, player ID, the Konami juice. Kubo's another player that uh, performs better than their stats in that regard. But I think some of that kind of jamminess that Baggio's getting is because actually these clips here are where I lowered his speed and that's why I was able to do the little ball roll drag back uh, dribbling. So, but anyway, I think the kind of jamminess he's getting is because I think, and I've taught this for a while, I think there's a boost to, to new players in the first week they come out. Um, in my uh, Neymar, my booster Neymar review, I was talking about how good his passing is, Neymar's passing. And I was like, he doesn't even have true passing and he's passing like this. And then if you've watched my stream in the last two weeks, three weeks since uh, that Neymar has come out, all I'm complaining about is how bad Neymar's true passing is because I don't have the true passing skill on him. So I think when the players first come out, Konami give them all a boost. So when you're playing against them or you're watching them on YouTube or Twitch, you're seeing how insane the players are. And that makes you want to spin for them and you're going to feel like you miss out. And then after a week, they nerf them. And then you're waiting for the next player to upgrade your team. Um, but like something like that, like that outside curler true pass, he doesn't have the true pass skill and the on pass assist too. Those type of passes uh, are more common on pass assist three, the outside curler true pass. But I'm, like, I'm confused, how is Baggio doing that pass without true passing? And pass this too so i'm putting it down to there's um there's some boost in the first week but in terms of the skills i put on them i put flip flap i definitely think that's necessary um i put heel trick i don't know if that's necessary obviously it does help you continue the ping pong uh when you're building up and i put long range shooting on and i do think that's good there, you've seen a few of the clips there might be a few more he does hit the long range shots really well because if you level his speed, you're gonna get, I think, near, uh, near, eighty six, eighty eight kicking power, something like that. And then if you level his finishing, or if you get his curl to ninety, you'll have about eighty five finishing. So the eighty five finishing the kicking power means his um, long shots are gonna be really good. His ball control is really good. Every time I hit the ball into him, he could turn really quickly. Um, what else is good? Oh yeah, so I tried about. I tried about six or seven builds with him. Like I said, I nerfed his pace. I did well-rounded it. I did uh, a build where it was eight dribbling, shooting, passing, whatever it is, all the way down to uh, not including the goalkeeper, defensive, or aerial strength. So I got eight, eight, eight. I think that's the best build. I definitely think you want to do a balanced build. Give him some passing. As I think if you... I tried him as centre forward just for a little bit. I think he's not the greatest centre forward, and it's mainly because of how fast he is. I think he's best in AMF because then you'll have space to run into with his speed. So if you're playing him further back, obviously you're going to want to give him some passing. And his passing, like you're seeing the clips, was very good. But I don't have true passing on him yet. And I feel like long term, uh, after a week, that boost is going to go. So I do think uh, you definitely need to give him true passing. And that chance there, I was surprised he missed because he has the first touch was very good and the um he's got 96 balance so i was expecting him to be able to turn around and he has acrobatic finishing and bury it but i guess he didn't so overall thoughts i feel like if you're someone who likes Baggio in real life uh do get him he did feel pretty faithful to his how he played in real life not that i watched him at the time but we were watching some uh highlights uh before he came out last night uh i feel like if you're looking for an amf in terms of like meta, like you don't really have an attachment to Baggio. I would only get him if you're already not good at dribbling. If you are good at dribbling, I don't know. I think I'd stick with um with like a Neymar, Messi, anyone else you're already using because he I just couldn't get the timing right. He was too fast. The only thing is, in a week, because I lowered his speed and won the builds, he felt better in that one. But then he wasn't fast enough in other instances. If the week in the week, if the artificial boost goes, he might become better again, which is kind of it's really weird to think about. But um, that's why I 
started the way, video the way I did, saying I was confused. So I'm gonna play with him again tomorrow. Maybe there'll be another video coming out saying I changed my mind on Baggio. We'll have to uh, wait and see. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.